Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is another mission I didn't record on my first and second playthrough of the game. Now I'm going to put this up. It is Dutch getting revenge on Angelo Bronte. And you can actually get a weapon ahead of time if you pick it up. But I'll explain it during the video. This is Revenge is a Dish Best Eat. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. Art, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys gotta prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Now, on certain missions like these, the developers give Arthur s certain guns if you have them, and I don't really like the choice. I would prefer to make my own choices on weapons I can load in and use. Now, what they have given is Arthur a semi-automatic shotgun, and the Evans repeater. I would prefer a different weapon to that, but I'm going to use it. And they switch out the semi-automatic shotgun with a double-barreled, which I don't understand. But you sneak up with John, and you get ready to start taking down guards and fighting them.
that lock, Arthur. Now take that damn door in. We got more inside. Check upstairs. He's not down here. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. That one looks better anyway. What sucks is you can't search any of the drawers of the dressers. I mean, you can see this picture of him and take a look at it. Whoopee, right? I mean, who cares? But none of the armoires or side tables or anything is searchable. And it really kind of sucks because I'm guessing you could find some major loot and some major jewels and stuff around here. But here's where you can pick up the Mosser pistol before it's even available to you at a gunsmith and you just drop one of your other pistols and now you have a mosser you can clean it up deal with it um next time uh yeah you do want to loot angelo bronte if you can because he does have some money Angelo, you can use the pistol to shoot the police. 
they don't shoot too much at Arthur so much as they shoot at his companions. They don't want to hit Angelo Bronte by accident. So, yeah, he's not a real good piece of um, protection. But again, the police are not going to shoot too much at Arthur as long as he's carrying Angelo Bronte's body. him in the front. Bill, help. Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth! has got to be disposed of! Oh, Our friends of oh. Pinkerton's gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot! Oh. 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 Call them now! You call them! The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. I think Arthur is now starting to realize Dutch has lost it and things are not going as planned. Maybe Dutch doesn't even have a plan. But yeah, this is not going well. And Arthur is starting to realize it. Well, that is the end of this mission. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and specials and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.